Towns Conservation Committee come to order. Da -da -da. Um, roll call. James Gates. Present. Joan, Joan Savoy, present. James Dorian. Jennifer Eaton, present. Jim Bukwea, present. Karen Bukwea, present. Karen, let me see here. Um, the, the meeting is going to be recorded. They are going to be all recorded in the future. Um, I think everybody in their packet got a letter that we received from the um, Attorney General's office as to the reasons why and reasons why we should have and didn't, but now we will, and that's behind us. So we're just going to move on from there. As far as uh, chairman's additions or deletions, um, I don't have a lot right now. We do have one thing that we're going to put on to it is 3.8. And it's going to be some type of a protocol for when a commissioner is in the field or and if you see something that is questionable, what we can do or we cannot do to intercede and uh, slow down what the violation might be so that we don't get in to kind of a situation we are right now with our, our client that's here. So we'll discuss that further when we get down to 3.8. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I interject? Mm -hmm. I think Chair, can I interject? Is anyone else recording? Thank you. Okay. I guess 1.4, we're gonna go public comments, if any. What's that, Jennifer? Add extra ones. Thank you. No comments. Okay. Review. Approve the meeting minutes from, which we really don't have any meeting minutes to approve. Nope. We're still in the middle of the new agent and an advent coming soon. So I think we'll be caught up with that in short order. Um, she will be starting when? Up the 11th is just going to be, uh, is she going to be here? 16th. She's all signed up and, and she will be here full time by the 16th. On Monday, she starts work on Monday. This coming Monday. Correct. And we'll get a chance to meet her when? Anytime um, soon? That's on the regular work session 3.1. We're not there yet. Oh, okay. I thought that would have been. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I jumped ahead. <laughs> Okay, all right. Appointments and um, hearings, votes may be taken. Does that bring us to where we are going to go for a vice chair vote? No, we're, we're going to go here at Wild and Scenic Grant. So we're, we're going to jump down the hearing. At, for That's seven times. Yeah? And there's nothing we really can squeeze in, in but there. It's so 706. Is this the uh, and Roger's no. here. Um, I'm fine. Um, thank you. So you want to open that hearing? Mm -hmm. I was just giving it a minute. I wrote a note down. All right, we're going to go 2.1. Um, an appointment bureau 710, the Applicant Wild and Scenic Grant Committee, NOI 308-0684, Roger Reposa on behalf of the Townsend Cemetery and Park location is off Jeff Street, Adams Dam, request to uh, vote and approve the NOI. Do you um, want to run through that, Jennifer, what you and Roger are doing on that? Sure. This is the Excuse me. Can we get the number for that, please? Is it on there? I just read it off. 308-0684. Forgive me. Sorry, Jen. It's okay. 
This is for the installation of the gate. Excuse me, what minute? Okay. 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 Yeah, she needs to read them into the record, I think is what Leslie said. So yeah. Do we have to still read them into the record again? I think we already hadn't we already done that the last no, meeting. They were not yet. It wasn't yet. We don't, um, have, we don't, we don't have the legal notice. All right. Well, we'll, we'll table it. Does anyone um, have the legal notice? I do. Oh, thank you. So give me a minute to pull it up. Our liaison has the legal liaison. notice. It's also on the How many green cards meeting. would there have been? Here with us, everybody. Six back out of nine. Out of nine, yes. This was. Excuse me. We're just trying to get some more agendas, and I think we're missing the middle page on some of these. The ones you got back, but that's the main thing. Yeah. 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 Um, on these copies, but they shouldn't be on that. Do you have like three pages, a front and a back, and a back and a back? Roger, you yes, did you know that we did? We may not have all the cards with us. I thought we were all set to go this evening. I did too. That's why I'm, I'm. Five minutes ago.
And these are the key. Yeah, we don't have a lot here. So, Roger, we're not, we don't have enough, all the abutters cards with us. I mean, we missed um, She'll tell us in just a moment. But we have notifications going out, correct? We have the notifications went out. We have yeah. seven on one, two. So, so all the cards don't always come back. Right. So um Madam Liaison, so it's because sometimes people are out of town or they just they, the they post office can't them find them or they sign. right. We so we can proceed with, with a missing a few cards. Yeah. Thank you. We can proceed without yeah. all the cards. Yes. I think so, yeah. We, we can without all the green cards, but we cannot without the proof of mail. Okay. So green cards are just extra. This is proof of mail. That's the important one. Okay. All right. So we'll still move forward with it. Okay. 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 So, Roger, did you want to add any more to this? Or Jennifer, did you want to? Um, I didn't have we any have more to we went over on the sidewalk. I think it was yeah, yeah. There's nothing. Nothing's changed since the sidewalk. Does that need to be made public? What the details were? They needed their number. They needed no. Uh, the what details we discussed on the sidewalk with the seating models and what your approach is. How are you going to do the riprap? What material? Who's getting in? There's a lot well, of variables. Change, changes to the original. What they presented originally. Okay. With the redesign notice. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to read the notice yep. that was published in the Lowell Sun, in accordance with 310 CMR 10.053B1 of the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act. Regulations public notice is hereby given of a notice of intent for Townsend Cemetery and Parks Department, Worcester Road and Jeff Street, Map 18, Lot 27, Map 51, Lot 39, Map 49, Lot 28, and Map 17, Lot 66. The proposed work is for the installation of a gate and stabilization of riverbank within the 200 foot riverfront. A public hearing on the NOI will be conducted by the Townsend Conservation Commission on August 11, 2021 at 7.05 p.m. Sorry. Um, Townsend Memorial, oh, this is meeting room two. I'm going to. Uh, Change that. It's actually the selectman's meeting room too. When yeah, it was posted downstairs. It was. So we're in the selectman's chambers, but uh, doesn't matter. Okay. A copy of the NOI may be obtained by contacting the conservation department at conservation at townsendma.gov. The public is welcome to attend. James Droyan, chairperson. Okay. Do we have the NOI already? We'll approve. We've already looked at it. Roger, we've already looked at it. Roger. Roger. Yeah, I'd like to say something also. We were going to. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I want a continuation on this uh, because I'm not sure until I talk to Mr. Cadigan if he got all this to say about the vegetative bottles and replacement of the timbers. That's what we want to do. I thought the, the waters would were just a, a suggestion and an alternative. I don't think that was what we had to use or it is going to be used. I think that was a matter of discussion as to one of the different methods that can be used to deter and, and slow down some of the erosion on a more immediate basis. And save money too, right? Jim is a little bit more familiar with you know the seeding waters. I mean, what do you, what do you how often have you used them? How uh, effective are they? Waddles in general are. Uh, I haven't used the seeding waddles, mm -hmm. but um, you know, waddles are left to decay typically, and they grow 
suffer a great overall. Right. Um, you know, with the, the seeding waddles, they have um, compost. You know, so that will... Right, so it's scale, it's not going to bring in any of these. You, they know you, what's stake, in. you stake them all in. So with this being said, Roger, what is the... As far as, do you have a, a planting schedule, material schedule, as to what is going to be going in there? I mean, we're going to do the timbers, the whole retained thing somewhat. Yeah. Just with the walkway, and then we did the sidewalk to brought up the back of there and David Wall. And I kind of like that idea. Again, if it's in any sort of national uh, heritage, Jurisdiction, David Paul, he would like to reach out to um, and I can send you his contact information. And I know both of the part of the state was on what he does on. So, do, would it be better for you to take a little bit more time to figure out if we're going to use the wood, what kind of wood you're going to use? Put a well, full on treated cedar, I know that for a fact that we do go with the wood. Okay, we, yeah. we knew that we we can't right. put anything treated yeah. in that area right. anyway due yeah. to the seepage. But I, I guess what I'm saying is I feel a little better about a plan as to what material were you going to haul it in from, uh, something a little bit more um, in depth as to just what we're going to do on it. I mean, I don't think we need another sidewalk. I think everybody saw what they've seen. We know what we 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 need to do, but I think we need just a little bit more information so we can know for sure just how we're going to apply and what we're going to do. Annie, go ahead. Um, there was a, an area there that was very steep, mm. and that's where the uh, seeded wattles would be most advantageous. I don't think that's a place to try and put wood because it is extremely steep. But the seed waddles going there, they'll take hold and they'll grow other vegetation, sure. natural vegetation. Yeah. That's my opinion on that. Excuse me. So, yeah. um, Roger, yeah. isn't the, all that information in the NOI? I believe it was all in the Yeah, NOI, it's all in uh, the NOI. Yeah, the only thing that wasn't in there was the vegetative walls, I don't believe. Because that came up at the site walk. Right. So, we're going to have that add. To that yeah. NOI seeding models. Or to that to be a um, condition of order of conditions. Right. Okay. Put it in on the order of conditions, then we can move forward on that. Yeah, that's fine. How soon did you want to get started on it? Go. I have a question on the, on the seeded models. Um, the, when they seed, are they going to grow vegetation? That so the seed waddles you provide your own seed. So you choose a, a wetlands um, erosion control blend, something that's going to stay low but grow quickly. Um, and so it's really up to you to decide what you want to plant it with. But you could advise on that, yes. unless you have ideas, Roger, on what you want. Yeah, right. New England wetland plants at Amherst is a they sell a lot of that um, the plant material and seeds. They have a lot of different seed mixtures for all different conditions from bars, um, loggers to retention basins. Um, so, and they have a lot of uh, smaller trees that are cheap, that are less than ten dollars a piece for some decently sized. It's not landscape mm -hmm. quality, but. It, right, you and know. you're working with a minimal budget of five thousand. I think we have thirty eight hundred in our account now. That was positive. Okay. Well, I mean, you're gonna look for the, the biggest bang for your buck. Is you know, like you were saying, some of the trees are ten dollars, and we can cater to what particular mix that we decide on, which we should do now. Um, I think it could be determined. Yeah. You know, based on field conditions. Okay. So at that point in time, when the waddles are ordered, Roger, we'll we'll know by then just which which seating we want to use, and we can get through that pretty minimal. All right. I get a motion to uh, 
vote on this so we can get approve the NOI. Make a motion to approve the NOI. Don't you have to see the number? Oh, DEP NOI 308 060. Thanks, Sam. Second, I second. All in favor? Favor? I'm sorry. Aye. 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 Okay, it's unanimous. Um, do we have, is there a signing sheet that we're gonna need this for that? Or we'll have it at the next meeting? Uh, Jen? Yeah. We can, we can sign it for the week. Okay, you're gonna have to go. Well, yeah, by the sign-in sheet you mean for the hearing, right? Right. Um, there, there was a sign-in sheet. No, I'm talking the sign-in no. sheet for the NOI. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're going to have to get that? Yeah, I'll get it before then. Okay, so we can sign before so we'll we go. So we'll sign that on the 25th? Okay. Or tonight? We'll sign it tonight. Tonight, tonight. okay, for fine. Get it done so, tonight, get it behind us. Thanks for bearing with us. <laughs> well, no, we're... we're just Excuse trying me. to get our game plan together, so it is, it's a little rough. Can you, would you like to say something, please? Because I'm, I can't understand. I'm sorry, Leslie. We have to close the hearing. Yes, thank you. Oh, motion to close. I, I make a motion to close the hearing on right, the uh, Wildman Scenic Grant. Yeah, I can't. Second. I'm sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, okay. Thank you, Aaron, very much. Woohoo. Thanks. It wasn't too painful. <laughs> it was. That's not right. Um, we have a seven to twenty appointment with um, Dana Roberts. I I do not. He does not have to be here for this. He's here. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. I'm it's sorry. Serious. Looking down on all this, <clears throat> Leslie. You're going to probably have to help um, Veronica with some of this. We we have can. Again, we have a different number, the 7150 that you gave me today, opposed to the one that is 16720, which is, is what you have. This was just sent from, from John Joya today. Okay. Can we ask the liaison to speak to this? I, I, I think we need to, just because I'm so vague on some of how that is all put together with the with our conflicting numbers as to which one we ha have to go by. The one that Adam has approved is the one we need to approve this evening, correct? Well, I think what you need to do this evening is figure, agree with the landowner on the terms. What are the, what are the, um, things that you're allowing and what are the things that are being excluded. So he's the landowner, you're the CR holder, you're Correct. the ones who have to monitor. And the CR has to um, meet the uh, terms of the OSP. So you need, and it sounds like you have two versions with two different numbers. Yes. yes. So that, that makes the EEA think that there are two different CRs for the same property? Yes. Um, so one of those has to be canceled out. Yes. And one of them has to be submitted. And then the back and forth process continues until you get that letter that I gave that you. you showed me the CR. The approved for local signatures letter. It's an official letter. From yeah. EEA? From EEX. Which would come And as way. far as I can tell, that hasn't happened yet. No, that's not happened. Okay, so no one signs anything or approves anything until right. you get that letter. But we're just trying to figure out with the landowner which one we're going by. And it's obviously, it's got to be the, the 16720. Well, that's the one but Adam, the, our town council has, has vetted. vetted. So, Mr. Roberts, are you comfortable going forward with the one Mr. the town council has vetted, or are you wedded to the, the second submission version? So, my concern is that I think the one that town council looked at is the one that was submitted in 2019, and then the state required everybody who had a CRM process 
to refile them last year during COVID and start all new. So the one I had presented is the one that John Joyer would do. And he's the one who sent that back to me. I gave you a copy of that email at the same time. Today. Yeah. That's the one I got today. So so the one that Adam reviewed wasn't actually the current CR. So okay, so then what needs to happen is do you have that the uh, oh wait. John Joya said there were two, right? Yes, Didn't sorry. I see an email from you, Jim? Um, he did not send me. I email. sent you an email from someone sent me an from email. John Joya. And he said that he has he needs to he know has which two one different version. That's so, correct. Um, if if what you're saying is right, there would have only been one CR number. There are now two CR numbers for the same piece of property. Right. Yeah. That that keeps. Coming up in front so of us, we cancel one of those, and one of them needs to be canceled. But someone needs to sit down and compare the language between the two to make sure that the that you all agree on what you have there. in front of us. Exactly. That's why it's so uh, back and forth to, confusion. If there are now two CR versions. You need to pick one, and because the process is far from done. Correct. Um, so, Mr. Roberts, my my minimal understanding is that when a CR is submitted, please somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It, when a CR is submitted, it's assigned a number, and that number stays with it through the entire process, all, all the revisions. And so, then when you resubmitted, when you, when you were told to, right? Yep. So they get you're saying they gave you a different and new number. So that's the confusion. Yeah, because I actually asked this question to John Joy. Yes. So I'm looking for my email right now. But the reason why I forwarded the email to John Joy is that this is the email, this is the CR that he revised. I understand the confusion because when he and I were going back and forth in 2019, all of those changes when they said you have to submit a new CR, I incorporated all of them into the new CR. And then I submitted it. And then he came back with his comments, which is CR 16950. That starts Why with a four. Because um, that's what's unusual. They, they actually, so I received a let, I received an email from them back in the Senate, back in June of last year, 2020, that said all CRs that are in the uh, process right now have to be uh, re, uh, restarted. We have to do the fully electronic. We have to resubmit. And I asked the question of him at one point, why, why are we doing a new CR if you already had this one in the process? And his the response to me was, I don't understand what you're talking about. We only have the CR. Okay, so I have a CR that was, um, well, it's August of 20. We didn't have to resubmit that in June um, of 20. Um, I'm, I'm confused. That's why I tried so hard to sit down yesterday to match off where we're going with that. Well, and can we just, what, can, are we allowed or is it possible to just say then, if Mr. Roberts, you're clearly, I think your preference is the, the, the one that starts with the number four, right? We can just say, we'll cancel out the one that starts with the number three and we'll work with num the one that starts with the number that four works. from now on. That works. Bingo. Yeah. And Thanks. compare Great. it to the number three. Right. As, yeah. as long as Dana, you're comfortable with that, and yeah, I incorporated everything from number three into number four, and that has to get back to town council again to be vetted. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So at least now we know which so copy you we're guys working from. Need to sit with number four. Right. You need to sit with Mr. Roberts. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> figure out what what it how it should read. And then get it back to John Joy. It's an iterative process. It, it back and, and forth. it has to have track changes in it. Yeah. So you yeah. gave them what was in track change. Yeah. You know, the I, I, with I, track change. We actually spoke about it today on page six. Yeah, there were, there were five. Three, there were two things that were comments that were not already incorporated into it that were on the version that I was given at the last meeting. So on page five, there was a question about a paragraph. About wildlife habitat, yeah, correct. You know, fixing, fixing uh, uh, disturbed areas, but it was very specific to uh, uh, section two, paragraph P, which is about the temp. If you put up a temporary structure and you take it down, you have to restore that area back to what it originally was. That's why that language is in there. 
That was one of the questions. And the other one was in the paragraph on the top, page six, paragraph yeah. five. Yeah. It was a request to add the language that it was based upon the planning board decision. And I put that language and I just can't read it off the top of my head. Right. You know? Right, and I have it checked off here, which is the new language. Yeah, and then all of the other, all of the other things that we talked about last week were actually already incorporated in the one that John Joya and I were working on. And we have a copy of the one that John Joya and Mr. Roberts were. Well, yes. Yeah. Yes. Right here in front of this is it's right here. Is it yeah. fair to say then the next got. step is that Mr. <clears throat> Roberts would come in to, to the conservation office and sit down with whomever wants to be there from the commission and go over it and then we submit that to yeah. give that back to John Joya. Well, well, I think what I think what Veronica just said was because that's not the one that Adam looked at. Adam has to go to Well, it's got to go to Adam next. Um, I, I wrote oh, down it's got to go to John Joy and then to Adam. And then go to Adam. Right. And then right. go to Adam. Right. Okay. So, so conservation then. We'll make, All right. Okay. We'll make an appointment, Mr. Roberts, and whenever it's convenient for you and, yep. and, and whoever on the committee would like to be there that day can sit with you and go over it. And does that sound right, Madam yeah. Liaison? It's up to you guys. How do you that that, that will. Is, that is the way we should do it. That's the only way that it good. seems to be the yeah, in, okay. in best yeah. common sense. All right. All right. Sounds good. So, uh, that being said, we'll, we have we'll go for a motion on. Um, well, would we need? No. So it stands as it is just discussed. What we will do with. Wouldn't it just be continued? There's not, it's not a hearing, really. No. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's a hearing. Right. It's All a you're doing is figuring it's, out. It's a just, it's okay. in basic discussion right now, so we can get all everything lined up correctly so we know how to proceed forward. Next to go to Adam. And figure and finish up a day. No, next to next to John Joya, then to Adam. So it's it's Mr. This Roberts, way. John Joya, and Adam, correct? I would probably do it the other way. Yeah, yes. do it. It's Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts, Adam, Adam, and then John Joya. John Joya. Okay, my the way I was just bank. saying. I'm sorry, my notes are wrong. And then it goes to their legal. So we're gonna have to set up. And then it goes back to John Joya. John Joya reviews his last pass, and it might come back to you again. Two more times. Oh, and yes. his last pass is usually legalese. He looks at it for legal terminology. That's his last pass. And then you get something similar to the final, what I showed you. The final that. verbiage will be right. evident. It'll and be then simple you'll to get read. an official letter that says it's, you'll get the CR that they have approved. And you'll get the official letter that says it's approved for local signatures. And then from there, the signatures go. An official letter from EOEDA. As, as you showed and demonstrated. So now I know what to be looking for. All right. Thanks for working with us, Mr. Roberts. So um, um, I believe, Jim, you'll reach out to Mr. DeLorean or he'll reach out to you. And we'll make an appointment and say, okay, super. That's right. lovely. Great. Advanced Within right. the next um, Ms. soon. Ms. Gadda has her hand up, sir. Hang on, Jennifer. So we'll we'll get together. I want to be able to expedite this as quick as we can because yeah, it's gonna, I'm as gonna Veronica says, it, it has to go back and forth. Legal's gotta look at Joya, everybody. Understood. But it's great, I, it's great progress. We've decided which version we're gonna look at. That's that's all we really that's fabulous. Thank you. That's great. Yep. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Dana. Um, Sorry for the confusion. Someone needs to notify Mr. Joya that there, the, there's only one version and it's this version, yes. not the other. Uh, right. I'll so take care of that. Could you and yeah. make sure it's going to be this, 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 this will be the one we delete. This one will be the one we go by. We go with, okay, great. Dana, thank you. Thank you. For your patience and everything. Lovely, thank you. Oh, Jen, Miss, Miss Pettit, thanks, Roger. Take care. Roger, I'll talk no, to you right. on that so we can get move forward on that a little quicker. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay. All right, we can close that out. We're all set. It wasn't here, so we're good. Right, we don't have to do anything other than that. Right, Mr. Smith? Excuse me? This what, is hearing now for you. Yep. Next, your DEP hey, number you have. Joan. Oh, sure. Can I get those back, please? All right. All right. So, 2.3, lot, lot 1 and 2, Warren Road. Um, 
DEP number was pending. We just got the DEP number from Standos at the, at the final minute, 308, 0685. 0685. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Say that again, 308. 0685. Um, Madam, do we have to make uh, the motion to open the hearing? Right, look at. Make a motion to open the hearing. Four. I need that, I'm sorry. We have to make a motion to open this hearing. Okay. Can I have a motion to open? Motion to open the hearing on DEP 308 0685. Thanks, Anna. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Hold on, hold on. So you got it, Kevin. You're um, you're on. Everybody's familiar with what this pertains to on Long Road, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. This, you guys have done how many site walks on it? I've done three. Okay. Kevin Smith. Well, thank you for having me here. This is just to close out the uh, number that we didn't have. Uh, that we needed to close out that uh, order conditions for my uh, my uh, driveway uh, project and uh, down on Warren Road and gravel pit. So, pretty much it, I guess. That pretty informal. Well, we're good. So, can I get a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve. Um. Lot one and two Warren Road, DEP 308-0685, Kevin Smith and Kenneth Tully. Second. Are we good? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, Kevin. You're welcome. A lot. Kevin, Kevin you have 10, yep. it's ten day, reading. Kevin, oh. 10 day waiting period on that, too. How much? 10 day. Uh, I'm still in the 21. He's got the foundation. Yeah, they're they're ready to frame it. Yeah. I know. Thank you, folks. Yeah. Like that. Thanks. Okay. That is now. I will close the hearing on that. We have to take a moment to get to vote on that. No. Motion to close the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ann. Okay. Here, here we are at 2.4 applicant. Going to cook greenways. Um. I'm still a little confused as to how that all all came up and about, but somebody put the the cop before the horse on this. I think no, we didn't. We we didn't know that we didn't have the NOIs, and now we do know, and so we're going to continue this until okay. we get the NOIs. We're not going to table. We'll just continue it to the next meeting. To the twenty fifth. Okay, this will be continued to. August 25th. Do we have a time yet for that? 7 p.m. Oh, you mean the exact time for that hearing? No. Okay. Time is in the air there. It will um it, it, it'll be onto the agenda and we'll call everybody accordingly. Sorry, Ms. Walkowitz. The we the NOIs are MIA. <laughs> Did you know about this, Ms. Is this you're doing? This is for the rail trail, correct? Um, it's associated with the rail trail. Yes. Could you bring us up to speed on it? Because I'm a little so, vague about it. Is to Squanica Greenway is built for a section of the rail trail, rail trail, and concurrently, a, uh, a local donor approached us and offered to build a pedestrian bridge across old. Across the Squanica River at Old Main House Road, where a bridge uh, collapsed in the 1938 hurricane, I think it was never replaced. So uh, the donor hired the firm of, of, of Scandalous, Scandalous' firm to do Jealous all the and engineering. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He developed the whole NOI. Um, he had, I think, originally scheduled a uh, a, a date uh, with for his hearing, um, but it, it sort of got postponed a couple times and, and lost in the shuffle for time. He Stan says that he uh, 
brought the NOI to the town clerk and has the receipt card. And we presently do not know. I was told by the town clerk today that they do not have them. It's still pending. Yeah. So okay. I think it'll continue to be a work in progress. Um, Stan already went in front of the select board because that's a town road. It's a town owned road. Mm -hmm. um, the select board gave him permission to go uh, to move forward and go to the other uh, town board. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna. Okay. I think we're gonna need a sidewalk to take a look at and everybody get yeah. acclimated with it, so we know what we're looking at, where we're gonna go with this. So, can we schedule in a sidewalk within when it works for everybody's schedule this weekend or next weekend or weekday, depending on how everybody is? I'm open all the way through. And that's on Old Meeting House Road down off with where exactly again? Um, well, you can so access it from crosses. 119. Take a right after. Sanderson's across from Gary's property, you go across the road. You know where, yeah. And you keep Sanderson's Corner. Sanderson's Corner, yes. okay. Down at the end of that road. Gotcha. Don't you can't drive all the way down. So we'll have to do a little walk. That's okay. You can also get at it from the other side, but probably should start with one side. Let's make sure we're all meet on the same side. That's all the side. If you, if you can get down there far enough, there is a pull out there, which I think might be fishery Okay. Uh, just, can we just decide on the site walk time and day and place now, like the date now? Does that work for you? I, um, no, Stan, it, it needs to go through Stan. Uh, okay. Members. So we should reach, we'll reach out to him. Yeah. Okay. And, thank you. And it's fine for Greenways will be there too, but Stan is. Okay. So we're going to definitely need Stan to be there for us yeah, for the site. Is he's that much? It's the must... um, engineering portion of it and permitting portion. All right. So even I don't have a feel as to how big of a job this is going to be, why yeah, we would need Stanley it'd be, there. It'd be a good idea. All right, so we'll wait for Stanley to get back to Jennifer. Hill. He'll send a med message to the answering machine as to when he can be freed. Mm -hmm. And then I'll reach out to the commissioners and hopefully we all can meet in the middle somewhere. Mm -hmm. Unless we kind of make a decision for the sidewalk and Stanley's got to work around us. Veronica. This is just a point of clarification. You know, I don't think you might want to finish what you're doing, but point of clarification to the select board. Because some of the work will be done on town and property, meaning old meeting house road, the select board have to give permission to um, stand to go forward. That's what we gave permission for us to allow. It's the property owner, you have to have the permission of the property owner to do the project. Which is the town of towns and all So that's so. what we get. They still have to go through the, all the permitting. And, all that. and they're still, still in other done. words, the town still can make the decision to or not to. It depends on what it looks like. You know, it, it, um, we're the property owner mm -hmm. for Meeting House Road. And we gave the permission, I forget the title of the form off the top of my head, but the form is, um, that you have the permission of the owner. But it's it, it that form. So, so it hasn't progressed a very long well. way. We just got the information this afternoon. We're just trying to. The permission was last week. Yeah. Week before. I mean, it hasn't been long. No. No, but like I said, we just got the word that the paperwork had been given to us. And the, the filing was, date was July 29th. July 29th. Yes. So we gave the permission probably July 27th. That's the piece. Okay, so yeah, it's in its like infantry. It's a really great idea because when you look at this plan, I don't think it will be as meaningful to you as actually going there. Very good. So, Jimmy. The people on the Kyla Road side of that path. We're going to have to get permission from them to go on that to access the river to where, to where that bridge is going to be installed. Because that's private property there, is it not? This would be something I, I no, would. No. It's yeah. not private property. Do you know who owns that parcel today? 
not know is your game owns some land i think for some wildlife or something but there is i'm not on the other side of the bridge a meeting house old meeting house hill road on the other side i'm not sure like if you're going from sanderson's corner and going across the river i'm not sure on the left hand side who will butt step that may be the people with the horse farm mm -hmm. And when you say tower road, we're, we're on the other side. Some there, the opposite you know, side, because that's going to attract a whole bunch of interest from Kimberly Park. It's changing, you know, right? Just a limited beginning, right. four wheel, possible yes. dirt bikes, cuddle bikes, etc. Once there's I learned how to swim down there when Tobiaho on that property. Sure, I go back to the 60s with that property. Okay, so so a site um, walk on both sides is. A, if we're going to have one side get... is paved, the other side is not. If I'm not mistaken, okay. So, the sidewalk is going to be real and it, crucial to move forward on that. You'll reach out to Stanley and we'll get some communication going back and forth, and we'll get a sidewalk together and do our homework on this and be a lot more prepared for our next meeting. Well, we didn't have the NOI, no, we did, and we just I don't know. I got a text with my name put onto it. I didn't. I have the name of the form. It's the authorization form to represent the property owners. That's the form. Authorization form to, to represent, represent the, property the property owners. owners. Okay. Yes. And that's what Stanley and will. And the town of Townsend is the property owner of Fort Leading House Road. And that's where the pedestrian pathway, bike pathway. Very good. So that's all. I'm confused. Are you going to We set... are too. <laughs> okay. Um, are you going to set a site block after your next meeting when you review the NOI or are you planning to set it? it? It'll all be figured out in the days to come. We're just waiting to get our hands on the NOI. You're going to reach out. Stan, to Stan, Stan and... said he could get it to us ASAP. More NOIs. Very good then. But do you need to then notify the Absolutely. So we've got some work to do. We just got this information. We just started on it. We're good. What, if the NOI was already submitted, wouldn't you guys have already yeah. notified the Stan did the yeah. uh, uh, legal list. notice and yeah. the yeah. right. So Jennifer can't wait to get the green cards and the checkoff list, which will be coming soon. So we'll go from there. You know. We're in our baby steps with it. But like I said, we just got the the, the initial information today. Or was it yesterday? We, we just got it. It was confirmed this morning that the NOI is MIA. And it was hand delivered here somewhere. So no problem. We apologize. Hmm. It's all it is what it is. Do you have a PEP number? No. No, they don't. Not yet, and it probably would be like a number like. I have the number. You, you have, have the number? You do. It doesn't have a DEP number. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Right. It's, a, yeah. it's a version that Stan sent the selectman when he sent us that. Uh, I don't know if it's fine. Is it a reference like number? No, there's no, no number. number yet. So okay. we can't have a hearing on the 25th unless that number has been assigned. The DEP. Right. Okay. All right. So, so still do a sidewalk. we can still do a sidewalk. Oh yeah. Great. We we can still yeah. right away out a little bit of it. Okay. There's nothing to close out on that. That was just an informative discussion to get the ball rolling on that. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for your time. Thank you, commissioners, for bearing with us and trying to figure out what we're doing with that. So we all know that there's going to be a sidewalk coming. Stanley will inform everybody. We'll wait for a DEP number. Hopefully, maybe at the next meeting, we'll be a lot further ahead and, and whatnot. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to go to um, 3.1. We're going into the work session. Um, introduction of new con conservation agent by our liaison, but I, I don't, we're not going to do that today, obviously. Yeah. We are. Yeah, she's going to talk about it. All right, it says that kind introduce. of introduction. Verbal introduction. Just a verbal. Okay. So what I want to know is 
what how do you guys want to meet her do you want to stop in to visit her individually do you want you know to have some sort of you know how would you like to be introduced to her she um she was but to tell you a little bit about her if you want to know um she has just moved to this area she lives in Huffington. Um, she moved up from Virginia, where she worked in the field doing public permitting. She's uh, certified in wetland delineation and uh, stream restoration. She's done a lot of work on that. So, and she was, they just moved up here. She was looking for a part-time job. Um, this is, she's pretty um, well qualified. Well it sounds like it's almost too big. That's, that's fabulous. So yeah. she'll be working probably Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. She'll be in next week just to um, get the lay of the land. So if you want to stop in and see her, I can send you the hours and show you. So um, next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, more than and Monday. then she's going to be taking her a week planned off, off vacation, vacation that was already planned. And then she'll be back to office. And she's going to be working part-time. 15 hours a week, yes. So it would be most likely a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, or? That's what she was intending, yeah. And that works well. You know, <laughs> end of the week, in the beginning of the week is, is covered and everything in the middle. Well, she's not the um, administrative assistant. Jim, do you have, I don't know. I'm just waiting for you to chair. I didn't see you, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's Go ahead. Okay. I just have um, a curiosity factor. We have not met this person in fashion yet. The person has already been hired. Correct. Okay. In the past, the Conservation Commission always interviewed previous to and recommended to the select. That did and not happen with Dave Pankles. Um, regardless of that point, why don't we have this lady come in during an open meeting? We all get to meet her at the same time. Well, I'm comfortable meeting her, however, whenever. I don't want to scare her away. Right. <laughs> right. I, I, I don't think there's any, I mean, she's already hired. She'll be in the office three days a week. Are you Is this going to be her call from now on for conservation? So we're kind of going to do all that stuff? Yes. Okay. We'll say yes on that. Um, Mr. Hankels was hired and um, had not met the conservation. And Mr. Um, Turgeon, then chair, I believe it was October 7, October 14, 2017, around then, announced we have a new agent starting next week. He had not been introduced to the committee. There was no no one. There was no hiring committee, and that was it. Mike Turgeon worked as an agent. Mike was. No, he was chair. Chair. He made the announcement at, at a Conscom meeting. I might have my date I wrong. I need but... to answer that to you, Jim. <laughs> at this point in time, I think everybody's seeing the, the struggle people are having getting qualified well, it was, people it was in. in June and the conservation commission was not. Point That's well true taken. Too. So I think, I mean, I think it's in our best interest whether we I'm not can trying to beat up a dead horse. I just wanted to make a point of contention. No, and I'm board. just trying to be able to give you a reasonable reply as to yeah. where we stand right now, bringing somebody on board that A has the qualifications Veronica has just demonstrated to us. Uh, well, to me, the past is no longer in the future, so I just wanted to know where we're at. <clears throat> I, okay, I, I respect your opinion on that. But I was just, like I said, trying to say that I. I I'm presently very thankful that we were able to get somebody with this amount of qualification. And if she doesn't come from town, she's coming in with a clean slate. I think it's a win-win all around. Whether the selectmen did bring her aboard or we did have a chance to meet her. But at the time, as Veronica said, the board was seemingly a little bit shut down. So I'm very, I'm comfortable with bringing her on board and I, I'm pretty comfortable that our select, select men have done a good job vetting her and bringing her forward. I met her in the hall one day. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. We're really lucky to have her. She really knows her stuff. And we need, we need as much help as we can get right now. So, all right. With that being said, we can move on. Thank you, um, Veronica, with that. 
3.2 status of void cutting on Pheasant Hill Road, completion by State Forester. Um, I don't think there's any site walk on that. I don't have any paperwork on on the signing off of it. So Does anyone know the status on that? It was completed this spring. So that would have to go to Mike Myers, um, Forrester, you know. So we'll move on to that until we get the right information from him. Emergency tree cutting on Hawk Hill and Hayes Road. No clue there. Nobody put any any information in front of me on that with, with Hawk Hill. Yeah, or, we have that, that. I gave you that paper and it was in the office and it, it, it was an emergency cutting. Was, I'm it, sorry. Was, was it the cutting or was it the beaver dam? Oh. It was a breaching of a beaver dam. Yeah. We're just trying to find out if anyone knows the status on that because that's the only paper we could find. Uh, so I actually listened to that meeting. Good, thank you. And I think it was all approved. We just have to monitor it. Okay, so they breached it. And that was through what the direction of Board of Health, or was that through the highway department remember. through the flooding? It's got, I it think goes it was the highway department. So we would have gone through Jimmy Smith. I'll talk to him tomorrow then so I can get a better feel of it. Because a lot of the stuff has just come yeah, up. In I was front just of it. listening because I think it was during one of my hearings. All right, so I'll, I'll see Jimmy tomorrow. And we'll know better for the next meeting. Should we join NRWA? I think yes. I think we've always been a member with um, Nashua Waters. We've, we've always been continuous with that. If, if I do recall, I think you would know better than I, um, Veronica, on some of that. I do an inquiry, and we actually are members of NRWA. Okay, I, I knew because we did it. Jones, we, um, and you put me in touch with somebody who said that we have been members, but the membership had been has lapsed. lapsed. Oh, it has lapsed. Okay. Was that through Karen Chapman? What, the membership? No, National okay. River Watershed. It is. Isn't Karen Chapman still working with them? No, she's she's MRTC. She's MRTC. Yeah. So do um, Jen? Do we have to pay some dues? Do we have to sign up? Do we have to fill out papers again? What would the process be? I think it would just be contacting them and asking that we want to refresh our membership. Of we apologize yeah. for being late with it. We will go into a transition period. So and do we have to vote to approve that? Well, because it's going to be for the amount of $100. $100. So we will have to vote to approve that to re-ante and get the money. That would come out, out out of the... That would come out of which fund, I, I assume, would be... Um, operating budget. Operating budget. Thank well, you. That's the... That, isn't there another, uh, what other money that we would draw from would be? We can't take it from the wetland protection. We can't, uh, from the WPA. Okay. Okay. And we can't take it from the Towns and Conservation Land Fund. No. Okay, I'll uh, ask for a motion to approve $100 from our general fund for, um, to rejoin the um, NRWA. So noted. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Jenna, are you going to reach out to her and yes, have I her will. send over the application? Yep. And we'll send a check out. Who and how do we check our account? Who do we go through to? to Jared. Um, okay. Because there was just two fines that just were submitted on that. So let's do an update on well, because we have MACC classes coming up for some of us too. In September. Yeah. And hopefully they're we're gonna be able to go to well to them. They had one last night for your control. It's all, they have virtual classes as well. They're all they're all yeah. online right um, now. I was gonna do the one last night, but I didn't want to but use membership, to, the personal the, membership. Uh, you, you will be reimbursed for it, though. Well, that's on the agenda to talk about that. No, I know. Yeah. So I was, 
we'll figure this out because we all want to take classes. Yep. Okay, so we're all set on the NRWA. We approved that, the $100 for it. Mm -hmm. um, commission members report on status of CONCOM office policy and accessing the CONCOM office and files. Um, I think right at the moment, only person that can open it is Veronica. And that is only during our hours working, right? Wait, no, we're just talking no. about us getting into the office. This is known as a key. We do go to someone down at this end of the building to let us in. We're talking about the public coming in to access files. Public is not to access any files. It's only... Well, the, if they put in a public records request or make an appointment, that's why I thought we should get the protocol down because in the past when I wanted to access files, I either had to put in a public records request and it came back as a digital, digitally, or I was told I could make an appointment to come into the office with a with the um, agent there. And I and uh, we had to make a list of the documents we were copying and had to pay for the copies. And I just think we want to make sure that um, we know who is in and out of the office. But yes, sorry, I'm not no. the chair. I'm not the chair, sorry. Go ahead, Jennifer. And it's just sort of, sort of restating some of what you're saying. I mean, for years and years, for as long as I remember, you've been able to go into the office with an administrator, an agent, or someone present. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, I'd like to look at the files for 56 Highland Street, 66 Highland Street, my brother. Say, I want to go in there and, and just review a file with someone right there without making copies. I mean, certainly if you chose to make a copy, then you have to call whoever's responsible and present and pay for the copies. I'm almost in favor of letting when the new agent comes in as to how she she would prefer that to move forward. I, I don't feel comfortable making a decision yeah, on that. Have one issue only that we have one agent, no administrative assistant, and to let the public come in to get files. She's there 15 hours a week, and it would probably be better if she wasn't doing, you know. Um, having people come in and getting files for them because she's got so much other stuff to do. Right, and, how, and we don't have an advent as of yet. Even well, the other one didn't pan out. Uh, she didn't accept the position. When she, she'll... Is it still... We'll see, it's still posted. So it depends on... Um, she was also moving to this area and hadn't moved yet. It was too soon. She okay. was willing to start late September, early October. So we left the, we'll see. But we still have it out there and we're still yeah, actively we'll looking. The decision is still up. Okay. Well, Jennifer sure. lives across the street and I'm very handy and we've been straightening up the office. It, yeah, so the commissioner is available. If someone just wants to call in or email or whatever and ask for an appointment, I'm sure somebody not on my right could be present. And be, like, I think that's an excellent point that we don't want the agent to have to deal with that no. Especially um, she's acclimating herself. but you know there's a lot of sensitive material in there and we've been spending a lot of time um filing things away that was all over the place so we i i, I, I we want to be thoughtful and um just have some kind of process that's all but um yeah we, that's we our really need to be yeah because there's a lot of files that were out excuse me I was going to say, maybe when your agent gets here, then camera with her. Right. But now, I think Joan, myself, and Jennifer, right. if we do have something that comes down and there is a request, we can still accommodate them and keep everybody moving forward. So so that, that I'm comfortable with that for the time being. We still have two more employees that are going to be coming forward, and that can still change. Okay. 
Um, here we go once again. Who's going to do the mini minutes going forward? I have a suggestion. It was a struggle last meeting, but let's... I have a suggestion. Okay. Act, sir, acting chair. I um, will gladly do the minutes. So I think, so we have a two prong issue here. One is I'm sure there are old minutes that have to be caught up. Caught up. And um, I will help work on those. Jen will help work on those. And so we're I'll happy to do that. Too. And thank you. And I think going for, and I will do the minutes from tonight. And the good news is, is now this is all going to be on YouTube and Zoom and it's easy to access. It's, you know, you just take a few sure. notes on the agenda sure. and it's right yeah. online and you can do your minutes. So I suggest, I would like to everyone to share doing the minutes so we all take the turn. So there are, so you, only once every 12 weeks would somebody be doing the minutes because we have meetings every two weeks and there are six of us. Okay. I think and that's when fair. you did the meeting, it, that, it didn't take too much to do them. When you were doing the minutes and whatnot, did that? Was um, that we had that conservation tedious? agent. Oh, so you didn't really add them? So I know. But they weren't doing the minutes, the admin was, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And that's what yeah. I said. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have an admin, so we're the admin for the minutes. The time being. So I, my, right. I'm voting for, we, you know, we're all in the same boat here that we just rotate whoever does the minutes and and Jen and I like for instance we had you know there's no template we had we're, we're starting from scratch here but we have a template now and we'll have them you know we have a template for the agenda we have a template for the meet, minutes we'll try to get the seal back on here and um if anyone is there if it's your turn to do the minutes which I like I said it's once every 12 weeks uh we, sure. Jen and I will gladly help Jimmy. I can't go along with that because I have an expertise and I don't do computers, I don't do writing, so I wouldn't be capable of doing the minutes. All right, I understand. I'm, I'm not in that field. If you want to come build houses with me and put in septic systems, I can uh, see you there. Know you know I can't do fine. minutes, so I'm, I'm going to be excluded from that, please. No, that's fine, Jim. I don't, I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not well, maybe we different. should ask what people at this table would like to rotate doing the minutes, since it only seems fair until we get madmen. I'm fine doing that. Thank with you. Your eyes, so Thank you. With YouTube, you have digital documentation of it. So. Yeah, we right, can so give you the template. Monthly. Yeah. Okay, so we're pretty good with that. So, Anne, would you like to help out? Thank you. All right, so there's Appreciate five. It. Thank you, that's great. So five, that's lovely. Thank you very much. So I'll do them for next next meeting. So John will, and I can help get caught up. Yeah, great. The, and and Jennifer and I will uh, get caught up. Which is going to be what three, three or four meetings or behind? I have no idea. It's going to be very difficult because there are no zooms. Right. There are no recordings, and there are no. We found no um, meeting minutes in the office, so we'll have to hum a few bars. Yeah. Okay. We're. we're winging it right now to begin with and we're doing a great job you know okay 3.6 so we're pretty good on the meeting minutes we'll we'll keep you know biting away at that um discuss access to macc courses for uh for the commissioners and now jim you were or you you have the ability to do them online is that does he get charged for that or is that so there's different levels of membership and there was added benefits to conservation commission, but there was no way for me to sign up or there was well, well wait, there was a way I could sign up if I paid your own money. Yeah. If you paid which yeah. which will reimburse you for, right. but I would rather people didn't have to worry about that. We're paid up with our dues and everything. But do we have to pay that individually? every time somebody goes to an MACC class? Yes. Because yeah. when you went with, you just did your webinar and everything. How many, what did it accrue to? How much was it? Off the top of your head, do you recall? Uh, I think it was. Like 200 and I remember that. And that was for all eight? Or no, four? no, I forget how many courses, I might have been for four. It, I forget. That's but reasonable. What, what, what was done, was um, I signed up for all the classes. Yep. We were we are the conservation commission itself is part is members of MACC. We pay our dues every every year. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And um, MACC will automatically bill 
the town the of Townsend. Oh, right. Okay. And you can do that online or the, with the class? Um, yes, I think so. That's how I did it. So how did you... And everything was paid for. They build the town. They build conservation. Or the, what's the login information? And you set up your own passports and everything. You may okay. need to contact them and tell them that you're a new commissioner. <laughs> how about this? Why? Because your your membership is paid for. Right. And that's why right. I why having an individual membership. So I did that and I had to cancel it. So you um, did start with an individual. I okay. did because okay. I wanted to join, but um I would just call them or email email, they get right back to you. I, I will I will offer to contact MACC for the commission and get the get the details and how, and then I'll I'll make sure we all know, understand how to go because forward. Because those fundamental I'll, I'll, classes aren't. I'll get at any I'll get a hold of them tomorrow and then wait. Schedule them to when they cycle to you. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. if you do it at the at the um, convention or what's that called the conference the conference that week um, I believe they had something. Um, where yeah. you could sign up for everything and just get it all done. In you a don't week. get it all done at one. Mm -hmm. It takes two. Two. They only they only um, offer maybe three courses that are part of your um, nece the necessary courses. How many? Do you remember how many necessary courses it is? Is it eight? Eight. 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 Yeah, eight. Eight. eight courses. Okay. And then there's other ones other that ones. count for less. Yes. Okay. Right, there's a multiple. Yeah, I'm right there. Yep. What do you got? Just, just to be, Miss Leslie. Um, sorry. We, when somebody wanted to take courses, we would just back in the day vote on you know somebody taking them for how much money. Right. And also, the wetland protection does cover some of that. So, like you're taking the course on the order of conditions, or I don't remember what the order is. Well, it's like when we did yeah. um, yeah. restoration and stabilization down in Framingham, yeah. when we went to Burns for in Walden Woods, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Vernal Pools with Matt Burns, et cetera, et cetera. Those are ones that they did they did pay for us to, to do those and go to those. Yeah. Garden in the Woods and Framingham, yep. correct? Yeah. We did all those. And that's paid for. So I had a group that, as long as it's wetland protection activated, you can use that fund. That's where, okay. All right. As long as the board agrees. I mean, at some point, we need to bring the financial statements to the board. Right, the reimbursement. All right, so good information on that. Joan, you can follow up on that. I will find out tomorrow to how, the, how Michelle. Yes. I, to Michelle. I have a question for our liaison. Um, do we need to notify or ask um, the board of selectmen no, you okay. guys have your own budget. Okay. Correct. And, and it comes out of there, and you have that revolving fund. You have the money to do that. You don't, it does not get approved by us. It gets approved by you guys. So okay. Using your own budget. So we need to speak to the account just to double check to see what we are and what we have in the account. If you don't know, yes. Yeah. We don't right now. We're, we're kind of taking baby steps. We're in the infancy of all getting this all yeah. accumulated and on. So. So John's on that. Jim, we'll have an answer for you so you can move forward on those classes. No, we don't want you to stop. You know, we want you to keep going on them. All right, so we're good on the MACC. All right, we need to elect a vice chair because we have not got one. Um, That's you. You're the vice chair. No, actually, I, I am the chair right at the moment in time. We it need... says vote to elect chair and vice chair. I move to elect Jim Duray as chair of the Townsend Conservation Commission. I can I can I say something before we get too far onto that? I was under the impression when the other individual that was the chairman um, left, the person that was the vice chair automatically moves into the position of chair. I mean, I have no problem voting on this. Madam liaison, can you help there? I don't think it's automatic. I think you automatically perform the duties um, of the chair. Until? And I think that until the motion that was just made is made and voted to make you the chair. 
So okay. In other words, because I, I so. I've asked about that several times, and it seems to be up in the air and vague. So we're gonna we're gonna we need to vote for chair and vice chair tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to resign as vice chair immediately. <laughs> I guess. Okay. So whenever. Let's let's vote right now on for the position of chairman right now. I can't like. I need, yeah, the I can't take a motion. Made, and and the motion's been made. And seconded. So take, we take a vote. vote. Everybody's got a vote. Vote to elect. All in favor. All, All in favor. favor. Aye. 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 Okay. I make a motion to elect Jennifer Eaton as vice chair of the Townsend Conservation Commission. Are you up for it? Yeah. Just double check and make sure we're. We need, yeah, we need a second and then we discuss. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yay. How long are the, how long are the? Yeah, we need a clerk. Oh. Oh, I'll be the clerk. <clears throat> Do we, we need to vote on it? Yep. So I'll, I ask for a motion to vote on the, the position of clerk motion to vote on position of clerk need a second second all in favor aye aye, aye. so we'll be jones for vote. um thank you and um so i guess you guys have to send in resignation letters tomorrow right Yes. Do we have to put in that? No, we don't have to put a resignation in. No? No, we're all done. It's, it's yeah. simple as that. She's overcomplicating. She got all excited tonight. We're all set. No, they don't have to resign. Oh. Just reassign. Oh, you don't resign from the position. You just might resign from the board. They're resigning from the conservation. Gotcha. Yes, they okay. would need a letter. But I, it's, you just re-vote the the, you just revoke the um, we're, we're, officers. Right, so, we're good. So do we have to send a letter to the Board of Selectmen tomorrow saying that these are our new officers? You might want to tell the town clerk. Okay. Because just to give Kathy okay. a heads up, we made some changes. All right. Yeah, I think that's done. Simple as that. Thank you. Okay. So you will probably need to be sworn in. Okay. I am already so. Or would no, no, you don't need to be sworn in. You're already sworn in. <laughs> because she's already on the commission in itself. You're, you only get sworn in for the commission. The, you can change the positions of chair, vice chair, clerk, whenever you want. Okay. Oh, and good. Nobody, I, I, I think we're just looking too formal to, to... We just changed the letterhead, this. is what you're saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can do that. Baby steps. TCAM complaint letter and response from CONCOM. We haven't made one. We have to respond. Yep. Yes, we have to respond. Oops. Thank you, James. Uh, I only scribbled it in. That's why I jumped over it. I think um, 3.8 is going to pertain to. I had started off with it. We When we're in. If a commissioner sees something and they realize it to be a violation, I'm trying to find out what the best language will be for a commission to intercede. So what is happening at the time doesn't progress to a violation or the building inspector being called, it's whatever the variable is. I mean, I think we, we need to get some protocol. We need to find out just what the best language is. I mean, the, the situation that Kevin went through, for instance, a commissioner literally drove by, saw Kevin beginning to do the work, didn't stop, made the phone calls other than to the individual that was moving forward into the violation and by the time he called a building inspector and anyone else, the violation had already transpired. So if if the commissioner had only stopped, said to this to Kevin, you need to cease and 
to just, just continue stop right now, we wouldn't have even had to have Kevin here. We wouldn't have had to have this on the docket. And I'm just trying to figure out what the best protocol is to prevent that in the future. As I started to say, there was somebody doing some work on Willard Brook. I saw it. I, I took a minute. I told them you, you cannot, should not, you need to stop doing that. I got them some information. They read it. They realized that they were wrong. In the long and the short of it, their rebuttal back to me was, thank you for stopping us. I appreciate you keeping us out of harm's way. I understand by the information you gave us. And, and everything works out for the better. But I don't want to have to see somebody brought in front of the board for something that a commissioner saw and we could, we could have just not had to deal with that. So I work with Ice and Ronnie and the commissioners to find out what, how much and what we can do when we see something transpiring that we know without training to be something in violation so we can curb it, stop it, so it doesn't, it doesn't happen. It, it, I mean, as much as it's a, a courtesy, it's something that we as commissioners should do um, Madam Liaison, is there protocol on this, this now? I don't think so. I think it's what you think it's what we, Like I said, I, I, I want to find out what our limitations are as to what we can do in interceding. Doesn't it go over that in the regulations? What do you mean, Jennifer? You're muffling a little bit. In the Weapons Protection Act, doesn't it go over violations and sort of what you're True. I mean, you're talking about your responsibility the as the actual, community. like an actual script of a way that we handle things. If a commissioner sees somebody, a resident, a company worker, contractor, whatever, doing something wrong, what is the script and protocol for approaching that person? <coughs> I'll give you an example. There was a commissioner who, I mean, from what it seemed like to me, a former commissioner had gone to a woman's house and almost uh, had been throwing out dollar amounts of fines and um, not just stating that, you know, what she was doing wrong and what, you know, could have been done right. Um, and the woman in turn got really, really upset. I could tell that she was really upset by her visit from a, a former commissioner. So it would be nice to have a protocol so that we can be effective if we see anything, but also um, be ethical, polite, and not jump the gun. We're not the police. A lot of questions tonight, Jim. A lot of questions. Well, I think when you approach what you perceive to be a violation, you go in, you identify yourself as a commissioner, for example. I would not in any way threaten them or anything. You, you tell them what you see as a violation. And you are only one commissioner. You do not make the decisions. You can perceive you can say, this is what I believe to be happening. If they choose to ignore you, then you go to your enforcement officer, whether it's your agent. Correct. Or it used to be the building inspector at the agent wasn't available in the past. Yeah, that's I mean, why we're yeah. trying to figure out what our best course and protocol is. I want the commissioners to, well, you remember you, we ran into a slippery slope a while ago with some kids on four wheelers and that, that turned into a, a difficult situation when they were up there. So that's why I bring that's, this up. We need to be able to make sure what, how we approach, and what our limitations are, and, and we're just we're starting to work with that protocol. Because, as I said, we could have kept Kevin from coming in. I could have kept these people that are my neighbors and they're wonderful people from doing something they shouldn't have. And the, you know what the best part about it is? They were informed, and I got to thank you out of it. It was great. Everybody walked away. You were going to say something. Oh, well, I agree. That's, that's ideal to do and handle like that. I mean, we, we are all trained. We're all good commissioners. We've gone through our classes. Jimmy, you know Townsend from this end or the other even better than I do, maybe. 
But you know what I'm saying? When we see something and we know we're savvy enough to intercede, keep this commission from having to deal with a violation, keep them from coming in in front of the board with a violation, all parties walk away for the better of it. But we need to make sure that when we do approach somebody, what is our limitation? How do we approach them? Do we announce that we're conservation commissioners, mm -hmm. I think et cetera, et cetera? And Jen is, just said it. And we, mm -hmm. so we, we introduce ourselves. We, 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 we say what we believe the violation is and that they can take it or leave it. And then we walk away and we let our conservation agent know about it. Right? And if it seems like we're going to get onto the slippery slope, we all should have the chairman's phone number. And if it's something I need to intercede with, if it's something that maybe Jim's in the area or the other Jim or either one or anyone, we all work together to keep these things on the bubble. Listen. Well, you're right. Because you want, if you can't do a season desist, you're right to stop it then before it gets out of control. That's the best thing. And then also, the best kind of enforcement policy is this office somewhere. Okay. Okay. We'll look it up and sign it. What your limitations are, what you should do. It's all written out there. Thank you. It's, it's not a script, but it, well, but at yeah. the same time, we need to be able to have some degree of knowledge as to what our, like I said, our limitation, what's the best approach. And if it seems like it's going to get to a slippery stuff, okay, go to step two. I'm going to call Jim. I'm going to call the building inspector, whomever and whatever, and, and move, take, nip it in the bunch. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay, so we're good with that. That's Jim. Thank you for saying going back to that. Okay, four point one T camp complaint letter in response from Concom. Um, I think our response of it is is that we now all of our meetings will be videoed. Everybody has in front of them the response that I requested from Select Board from the Attorney General's office, which demonstrates and tells us that we cannot exclude or tell TCAM that they're not recorded. Maybe even David Funioli might be able to give us a better insight as to some of that in language, why we cannot. But it's all there. It's in your, it's in your package. That's straight from the Attorney General's office. So going forward, all of our meetings will be recorded with TCAM. And, and that's moving and, forward. And broadcast on YouTube, town, on the Towns and Mass YouTube channel. Put up, uploaded to the Towns and Mass YouTube channel. Okay, this one I'm off on to 4.2 newest members, MACC members um, benefit guide. Yes, I have that. But I, I have it for James and the email. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, we're good. Thank you. Is, was that for um, Jimmy Gates? Yeah, just for me and Jim. We're good. What, you all set on that, Jim? Yeah, yeah once they get to the account yeah. information. Yeah. And we're working on that with yeah. a bunch of other, you know, bits and pieces. Moving on to 4.3. 726 to my letter from Fisheries and Wildlife about new habitat. Finder map. Habitats finder it's map. It's an awesome. So I gave you all a copy of their letter. It's a, just an awesome tool. And there's the how to access it on the letter. Okay. Habitat map maps. Okay, so we're hearing Squanaquit Greenways. We know what we're going to be going on with that August 25th. Oh, yeah, items for discussion at next meeting. It would be Squanico Greenways, assuming you have your your DEP number, right? Right. Um, that's okay. you'll be waiting yep. from Stanley and we'll work forward on the site walk through Stan and we'll we'll be ready to go from we'll there. Put it on the agenda. Um geez. next meeting will be I'm Wednesday. As far as the work session. Hearings. Oh, how much money is in the Towns and Conservation session. Land Fund? Can money only be used for purchases and appraisals? How much money is in the Wetlands Protection Act Fund? 
okay, I think that actually was, we already discussed that as far as we, we need to reach out to the accountant to find out what is in there. What, so what money we can use for our MACC. Actually, Leslie told us what account we will draw from on that. So that's once again, we're going to have to talk to Mr. Le so Joan and Jen will we'll get the answers to these questions. If that are right, is all right with everybody, we'll just yeah. and we'll find out what the money can be used for and how much is in the accounts, right? And shouldn't we find out too how much is left in the general? The, the wait a minute, the fiscal year just started, so there's right. new money in the general fund. Okay, so next meeting, then why don't I'll I'll report on that? Is that right? Fair? We discussed okay. that this morning. All right, Jen and I will report on it, that. We just went into the new okay. year, so we okay. do we get a certain amount allocated every year. To oh, very good. Are there any um, are there any other accounts that anyone knows of? Three basically. <laughs> I mean, are any rocks? Ah, uh, not that I know. Unless somebody at Sterilite wants to build us a whole building or something. All right. Um, I guess we're here at, at, at the best part of it all. Next meeting, Wednesday, August twenty fifth. Seven o'clock. Um, motion to adjourn. And could I just say something? I mean, thank you very much for your daring with me. I'm fumbling a little bit. I'm not really fluid just yet, but we're going through a lot of changes and trying to accumulate and get it all together. So um, I appreciate everybody's patience with it all. I say hip hip hooray. You yeah. did a great job. Oh, most to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Jim. And we have to say, Jim. we have to say adjourning at 8.35. 8.35. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. Thanks for all the questions, Jim.